Denise and I do home decor vlogs, teacher vlogs, perfect videos and vlogs in general. If you like the content, do subscribe to my channel. I am going to the mall right now. It's literally after work. So I just decided to start a new vlog here. I don't even know how I look all my days. But anyways, I think I look great and whatnot. I'm going to the mall. It's after work. It's blazing hot and I did not turn the aircon on. But yeah. I need to get sunscreen because my sunscreen is finished and I cannot go without sunscreen. I need to get sunscreen. I also need to get, let me think, face wash. I do not have face wash. I need that. And I need something else, but why can't I remember now? But I am going to fix. So I guess I'll see when I get in fix. So this is literally a mini vlog. Um, nothing hectic. I normally do around about 40, 30 minute vlogs, 29 minute vlogs, somewhere there. Medium-ish kind of vlogs. But I think today I'll just do a very short one. Well, I don't know how much footage I will have. Oh, I also need to buy and also have a new body mist. Um, because I need that to layer with my perfumes. Because, oh, sorry. Because I have been um slowly falling out falling out of love with my perfumes the ones that i have so if you know me i have a very large perfume collection so i've been recently falling out of love with them so i need to have a body mist i do have two victoria's secret body mists but i do need to have um another also heavenly body mist which is going to smell great i know definitely i'll probably buy two body mists so that i can at least layer with the perfumes that i already have so that's what i need as well um i don't understand how <laughs> i'm sorry since i'm driving it's very annoying because there's someone behind me and at this part of the road i have to drive 60 60 kilometers per hour and not anything more but there's someone behind me who is in a rush so let me just get out of the way because he's not he's literally doing the most doing the most i don't understand people who think that if you are in a rush i'm also in a rush it's not the case so you have to be patient right but nonetheless I'm going to the mall right now. Um, oh, I need to go to Edgar's as well and pay my Edgar's account. Oops, sorry. I need to go to Edgar's. I almost forgot and that's literally why I'm here. I need to do that. And then, yeah, I'm good to go. See you. I'm in Edgar's here and I really loved the vibrant yellow pink um, colors that they have. I've seen a green and a light pink of this same shoe. It's inspired by some high-end brand shoe. Um, the heels are fairly okay. I am relatively tall but these heels are okay. I did not buy these shoes by the way so I just wanted to see how they look on my foot and the pink is so pretty. So I just put these back, but you can see the nudes that they have. They have the patent nudes. There's a, a very nice nude, which I really like. I like the bow tie as well. The blue is there and there's a green and there's black as well. So yeah, I really liked these ones. And then I moved on to the other side. These diamante um, sandals, heels and shoes are in fashion now, which I really like. Woolies has them as well. And you can see here they have them in red i remember there was a purple and very nice colors and then i'm in the back section i do like checking out the bags in edgar's because they have kelso they have guess and which other brand i've seen steve maiden as well and polo i love their polo um, selections this one doesn't have much of a range because it's the local mall but they do have the Kelso and the gas the gas bags Um, the bags do range from the Kelso bags in particular from 300 to 400 um, depending on 
the size i think or the make of the bag this is a nice bucket bag i need to get this one for work so that i can carry it around everywhere i go it's not too big not too small and then i walked around to go and check some of the other bags and i did find the guest bags they are they're cute i do like guest bags especially this black one i couldn't get the price for it though but it was scratched out i'm assuming that it's marked down very um heavily and i do like the little purse that it has and the structure of this guest bag is so so wonderfully done because i feel like it's a very formal formal slash casual bag and then we have the floral ones this side i do like the florals they remind me of the polo bags I also love this nude color and the branding as well. I also like the structure, but it's very, very formal in my opinion. Then I got my serum and face wash. Buy one, get one free. Price of one, so I got that. I can't remember what I'm here for again. Let's just walk around. Okay, I found my sunscreens. One is 124 rand. You know this one, so I'm taking this one. I was in the Woolworths edit. I have never been in a Woolworths edit before, so I saw this one for the first time in my local mall. I did not know that they have it. The space is quite small, but all the products that I saw online, I saw in the store as well, which I really liked. So you can see that they used every inch of the wall and it's quite tightly packed. But as I was trying to vlog, the guy in there told me that their policy does not allow vlogging. I've never heard that before because you know my vlogs, I'm always vlogging in woolies. Nobody cares, but I guess it's because he saw me vlogging i don't know so as a result this footage is cut this footage is cut um really short and you can see i was trying to get wide angles so i am tall and i think it's because he did see me vlogging i was very obvious about it and then he told me that so as i was getting to this good side and the good part of everything the shoes and the bags and whatnot he told me that i should stop vlogging so i left hi there i found the Oh no. Hi there. Hi there. I found everything I needed. I found everything I needed. It's hot in this car by the way, but I found everything that I needed. Then I saw a Woolworth which is new in this specific mall. If you saw the clips i tried to get some clips this guy shows up and he's like no vlogging in our mall our policy does not allow no vlogging in our mall our policy does not allow oh my days 
he's the first person that I've heard from Woolies who has said that to be while I'm vlogging. Maybe it's because I was obvious because I really wanted to get the the wide view angles because that Woolies was it's quite small. It's a Woolies edit. I've never seen that before. I actually saw the W um, edit W edit logo and I was like, what is this? So I turned and I went to look. It's the cutest thing. But why would you say that I should not vlog? Why? I can't bear to hear those words. I cannot bear to hear those Woo child. You can literally say anything to me, like can I help you? Or don't say I can't vlog. <gasps> oh my days. Oh my days. And the, the like that was the cutest little woolies I've ever seen. But I'm never going back there again. Never going back there. I was probably going to be the only customer. <laughs> I'm joking. But you know when you're annoyed, but I was probably gonna be the only customer who's gonna buy it. I'm never going back there again. No, not worth it. If I cannot get content and at the same time look for look at stuff and see what you have. Why can't you just let me be? You know, I feel like the ladies, the ladies, um, they let you vlog. I think it's because they don't want the back and forth, you know. So this was a guy, he was very brave. I don't care. I left that place. I just said, oh, is it? Because he was like, you can't vlog. And I said, oh, is it? And I turned around and I walked away. But I was getting to the best parts of the store. I'm so upset, guys. Whatever. But yeah, right now I'm just going to... Uh, let me come in this side. This road is a mess. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm coming to McDonald's right now. If I can just get a very cold drink because it's extremely hot, that's what I'll do. I can't put the aircon on because then it's going to override my voice. And I still don't have a microphone yet. So if you saw the last vlog, no, not the last vlog online, I was doing another vlog, separate vlog, and not this one because this is literally a day vlog. I just started it out of nowhere. Yeah, but I was doing another vlog and I'll decide whether I use that footage or not, but I, I think then I just didn't feel like vlogging. So right now, even even now, I didn't feel like vlogging. I was just forcing myself. But you see, I don't think I'll use that vlog. But what what those clips? I mean, but what I was saying is, just give me one second. Okay, I just ordered a cheeseburger and a mango frappe. Oh yeah, what I was saying was I do not have a microphone and I'm very much aware of that so I have to include that but I saw one good one at Macro. The ones that I bought at Macro I've actually bought before at Take A Lot but the thing is with Take A Lot is some of them are very cheap and they're actually knockoffs. So I saw the same ones at Macro and they were at a different price. So I'm assuming that those are the real ones. So I'm going to try those out. I'm going to buy two different ones. The one with the cable and the one that doesn't have a cable for my phone so hopefully that will work yeah that was what i was saying before i ordered so yeah that's all i have to say but that woolies i actually need to send woolies an email to ask them about that i i don't think other influencers um do that i think they just vlog so, and they don't get noticed that they are vlogging so i was very upfront with it I had a guy. I messed up my order as usual. Oh, I messed up my order, and I don't like being that person at a restaurant. I really don't, but I messed it up. I have. Okay. Oh, but when you see it, I think that he mixes the order, he doesn't say you're wrong. Eh. Eh, but when you choose. Eh. Thank you. Oh, they just helped me. I feel so bad. I feel so bad because I always get that order wrong. And not because I don't know what I want. I know what I want, but I don't know what it's called. And every time I come here, I say a cheeseburger because the Big Mac is a cheeseburger, right? So I always see that I got the wrong one when I get home and I try to open it and I'm like, this burger is so small. I'm so annoyed. And then the difference is literally 10 rand. 
so shame poor poor people i feel bad i feel bad they're helping me but this is the first time that i'm actually changing it and realizing that i got the wrong one because i normally see it when i get home so yeah the guy which is the manager he was like he said to me next time i must just um i must ask before i buy and if i'm not sure which is true and me and the guy did really did really um ask hey me and the guy no i mean i asked and we were trying to get the order but i just couldn't get the order and so he hit something for me which is what i did not want and yeah i just feel bad i feel bad i'm going home now so i'll show you um the products when i get home this is the burger that almost got me into trouble. Well, I got into trouble, but yeah, this is the burger. <laughs> ay, ay, ay.